Today I'll talk about potter's wheel. What is potter's wheel? It's the machine used for shaping round ceramics also capable of using wheels in the process of trimming the extra body in a dry product and in the process of applying an incised decorative or colored ring. Many early ceramics were handmade using simple calling techniques that rolled clay into long trees and twi twisted to form the body of the bowl. With environmental factors could Bill Strickland have changed in his life. A man was spinning a clump of clay and was fully involved in his work, which motivated Bill Strickland. It is confirmed that social factors have changed Bill Strickland's behavior. Based on this, they believe that there are various possibilities and experiences to explore. Because high school life was stuffy and he wanted to do something. At the same time, after seeing the man, he decided to move toward clay modeling and wanted to explore new things in the market. In 1950, Bill Stickland's story began when the Manchester community where he grew up was filled with green trees and neat row houses. People around them were able to find jobs at industry companies or small and medium-sized enterprises. What more authority does Bill Stickland speak from the two struggling college students? Bill Stickland speaks with more authority, which is mainly in line with one young business student who is unlikely, Bill says, after spending $30 on graduate and graduate education to get a good company ready for a high paying job. The two graduated from business school are probably the least anticipated civic group to discover a non-profit work. Bill Stickland case analysis but in fact they are not only attracted to it or the version of Stickland but the fact alone may be one of the most important indicators the Stickland's hybrid. Approach to philanthropy and business is ahead of Pittsburgh, Stickland found that every time he lectured students at business schools across the country like to join the cause. What impact did Stickland's mentor, Frank Ross, have on his goals? Self-efficacy and values. Bill Stickland was studying in high school and struggling in Manchester in 1963. The Pittsburgh area was devastated by the design of the steel industry. When Stickland met Frank Ross, a ceramic art teacher who became his friend and mentor, Frank Ross told him about Frank Lyot Wright architecture and introduced clay and jazz. Stickland was inspired by Frank Ross to achieve his values and goals, and he thought this light could brighten his neighborhood with creativity. Ross inspired Bill in 1968 when he founded the Manchester Craftsmen Union to provide exhibition space and art programs. In 1971, Bill took charge of the Bidwell Training Center, a voca vocational training program designed by Frank Lyot Wrights. 62,000 square foot learning center in 1986. It has an industrial kitchen, a music hall, a computer classroom, and a recording and art studio. As per Bill, artists and entrepreneurs can exchange.